Hi dear children, welcome to today's class. Today we are going to discuss exercise 5.2, the second exercise of the chapter continuity and differentiability. Differentiate the functions with respect to x. That is our question. We need to differentiate the functions with respect to x. The first question that is sin x square plus pi. Sin x square plus pi. So I am going to take it as y is equal to sin x square plus pi. We need to find out the derivative of this y with respect to x. So we will write it as dy by dx. dy by dx is equal to we need to find out the derivative of sin x square plus pi. We need to find out the derivative of sin of x square plus pi. Now the derivative of d by dx of sin x. d by dx of sin x that is equal to cos x. d by dx of sin x that is equal to cos x. And here instead of x we have x square plus pi. Anyway the first function is sin. So suppose this is t x square plus pi. Suppose that is t. Then we have sin t. The derivative of sin t we will get it as cos t and the value of t is x square plus 5. Okay. Now we need to find out the derivative of this x square plus 5. Okay. So just listen carefully. We need to find out the derivative of sin of x square plus 5. And if you have sin x, the derivative of sin x is cos x. But here we have, instead of this x, we have x square plus 5. So just suppose that this x square plus 5 is t. Okay. Then we will have sin t. Then the derivative of sin t, we will get it as cos t. And I just replace the value of t, that is x square plus 5. Now we need to find out the derivative of that x square plus 5. That is cos of x square plus 5 into the derivative. Here we have sum of two functions. The x square derivative d by dx of x raised to n is equal to n into x raised to n minus 1. d by dx of x raised to n is equal to n into x raised to n minus 1. So the x square derivative we will get it as 2 into x raised to 2 minus 1 plus 5 is a constant and the derivative of a constant is equal to 0. Derivative of a constant is equal to 0. So the derivative of 5 that is 0. Now this is equal to cos of x square plus 5 into 2x x raised to 2 minus 1 that is 2x. So the final answer is 2x into cos of x square plus 5. 2x into cos of x square plus 5. Now we are going to do the second question. The second question that is cos of sin x. Second one we need to find out the derivative of that y is equal to cos of sin x. It means we need to find out dy by dx. That is d by dx of y value that is cos of sin x. Now the derivative of cos x that is equal to minus sin x. The derivative of cos x that is equal to minus sin x. So instead of x here we have sin x. So just consider it as t. Then the derivative of cos t, the derivative of cos t, we will get it as minus sin t. So minus sin t, the value that is sin x. Okay. Now we need to find out the derivative of sin x because instead of x we have sin x. And the derivative of sin x, d by dx of sin x is equal to cos x. So this we will get it as minus sin of sin x into the derivative of sin x is cos x or you can write it as minus cos x into sin of sin x okay 
So uh, instead of x here, we have sin x. We just consider it as t. Then we have cos t, and the derivative of cos t that is sin t. So here we will have sin minus sin t, and the value of t is sin x. And find out the derivative of that sin x. Now the third question. y is equal to sin of ax plus b y is equal to sin of ax plus b that is dy by dx is equal to d by dx of sin of ax plus b okay instead of x we have t so uh, we have ax plus b so we will just consider it as t then the derivative of sin x is cos x so we will get the derivative of sin that is cos And instead of this, we have a x plus b, and that is also again a function of x. We need to find out the derivative of that also, to so the derivative of a x plus b, and this is equal to cos of a x plus b into a is a constant, and the derivative of x by using that same result d by d x of x raised to n is equal to n into x raised to n minus one. That we will get it as one into x raised to one minus one. That is one. So the derivative of x is, or you can uh, write d by dx of x is equal to one. So a we will get plus the derivative of b. B is a constant, and the derivative of a constant is zero. So the answer is a into cos of a x plus b. A into cos of a x plus b. Now the fourth question. C of tan root x. C of tan root x. Now, what is the derivative of c x? D by d x of c x is equal to. Sec x into tan x d by d x of sec x is equal to sec x into tan x and d by d x of tan x is equal to sec square x d by d x of root x is equal to one by two root x. Okay, these results we will use here. D by d x of sec x is equal to sec x into tan x. d by dx of tan x is equal to 6 square x d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x okay now just listen y is equal to sec into sec of tan root x now just put this is equal to t then what we will get d by by dx is equal to d by dx of c of tan root x okay c of tan root x we took it as t then we have c t okay what is the derivative of c x that is c x into tan x right so if you took it as t we will have c t into tan t and what is the value of t what is the value of t that is tan root x into tan into again the value of t that is tan root x okay so now we need to find out d by dx of tan root x d by dx of tan root x now just take the root x as t now just take that root x as t then we will get c of tan root x into tan of tan root x into the derivative this tan t we have we took root x is equal to t then then we have tan t the derivative of tan x is sec square x so we will have sec square t and what is the value of this t just replace that t by the value that is root x 
Now again we have the function of x. So we need to find out the derivative of root x. We need to find out the derivative of root x. So this is equal to c of tan root x into tan of tan root x into c square root x into the derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x. 1 by 2 root x. So the final answer is we need to find out the derivative of each and every function step by step. And the final answer we will get it as sec of tan root x into tan of tan root x into 6 square root x all divided by 2 root x. Okay, this is the derivative of sec of tan root x. Sixth question. Cos x cube into sin square into x raised to 5. Cos x cube into sin square into x raised to 5. This here we have two functions. This is u and this is v. Then u v all dash is equal to u into v dash plus v into u dash. Suppose it is y. Then dy by dx is equal to u into that is cos x cube into d by dx of sin square of x raised to 5 plus sin square of x raised to 5 into d by dx of cos x cube. Okay, cos of x cube. U here it is cos x cube and v that is sin square of x raised to 5. Now this is equal to cos x cube <coughs> sin square x raised to 5 we have. x square the derivative of d by dx of d by dx of x square is equal to 2x. d by dx of x square equal to 2x. Suppose this is then t square. Okay, sin square we have. Suppose this is then t square, then we will have two t. Then similarly here we will have 2 into sin of x raised to 5. The sin square derivative is 2 sin x. Sin square derivative is 2 sin x. And instead of x we have x raised to 5. And now we need to, so square derivative we got. That is 2 sin x raised to 5. Okay, now we need to find out the derivative of sin x. That is sin of x raised to 5 derivative we need to find. This 2 sin x raised to 5 is the derivative of sin square only. Okay. Plus sin square of x raised to 5 cos x cube. Cos derivative is minus sin x cube into d by dx of x cube d by dx of x cube and this is equal to 2 into cos x cube sin x raised to 5 cos x cube sin x raised to 5 now the derivative of sin is cos cos x raised to 5 we need to find out one more derivative that is the derivative of x raised to 5 Minus, here we have one minus that we can write it as sin square x raised to 5 into sin x cube into the derivative of x cube. The derivative of x raised to n is n into x raised to n minus 1. n into x raised to n minus 1. So, the derivative of x cube you will get it as 3 into x raised to 3 minus 1. Now, this is equal to. 2 into cos of x cube sin of x raised to 5 cos of x raised to 5. The derivative of x raised to 5 using that same result we will get 5 into x raised to 5 minus 1. That is 5 into x raised to 4. 
minus 3 into sin square x raised to 5 sin x cube into x raised to 2. That is, this is equal to 5 into 2, 10. x raised to 4. Into cos of x cube, sin of x raised to 5. Cos of x cube, sin of x raised to 5. Cos of x raised to 5. Minus 3x square, sin x cube. Sin square x raised to 5. This is the derivative of given function.